In part two of these two videos on control surfaces, we'll turn our attention to controlling virtual instrument and effect parameters from a controller, as well as recording these moves as automation within Mixcraft. Hands-on control is a great alternative to automating instrument and effect parameters with a mouse, which was covered in the Mixcraft University tutorial on automation. Real-time control can be more expressive and more fun. If you're not familiar with different controller types and how they connect to your computer, please look at the Mixcraft University tutorial video, Control Surfaces Part 1. Your controller doesn't need to be the default MIDI controller specified under Settings. Simply open the virtual instrument you want to control and click the MIDI controller button. A window similar to the Control Surface Details window opens, but it shows virtual instrument parameters. Suppose you want to control the Alien 303 bass synthesizer filter cutoff frequency from a keyboard controller's mod wheel. Click on MIDI Learn, then click on Cutoff Frequency. Move the mod wheel, and now it controls the filter cutoff frequency. You can control as many parameters as you want, but we'll keep it simple for now. Click on Stop Learning. You can also reverse how a parameter reacts. For example, normally rotating the mod wheel forward raises the filter cutoff frequency. But if you check reverse, rotating the mod wheel forward lowers the filter cutoff frequency. Turn off reverse for now and click close prior to recording. Recording automation from a controller is simple. Assuming you want to record controller automation along with playing notes, arm the virtual instrument track and choose the MIDI input device that's providing note data. If you can't decide or aren't sure which input device to choose, select All MIDI Input Devices and Receive from All MIDI Channels. Note that if you're only recording or overdubbing automation and not notes, it's not necessary to select a MIDI input device. Start recording and play notes as you move the mod wheel. When you're done, click Stop. Toggle the automation lane. The Alien 303 bass synthesizer cutoff frequency is now available as an automation lane, so select it. You can now see the automation curve you just recorded and edit it as described in the Mixcraft University tutorial video on automation. You may want to use more controllers than you have hands, or concentrate on playing notes and add controller changes later. So, Mixcraft makes it easy to overdub controller data. Suppose you've recorded a part and now want to control the filter with the mod wheel. Right-click in the Virtual Instruments track, and for Recording Mode, select Overdub. If you select the Alien 303 Bass Synthesizer Cutoff Frequency for the Automation Lane, you can see the automation being recorded. Start recording, and move the mod wheel. Now you're overdubbing automation. Next, suppose you also want to vary the decay time. As you've already recorded automation data, you can reassign the mod wheel to the decay time or use a different controller. It's up to you. Click on the instrument's MIDI controller button, select Envelope Decay, click Learn, and move the mod wheel or other control. Close the MIDI controller window. Choose the automation lane for the Alien 303 Bass Synthesizer Envelope Decay to see the automation being recorded. Begin recording, and now your decay changes will be added to the filter cutoff changes. <laughs> Thank you.
the decay automation for measures 8 through 16 could use some improvement. With the decay automation lane open, draw a line through the measures you want to redo. Start recording, and don't touch the mod wheel until the beginning of the section that needs redoing. Then, make your changes. At the end of the section, stop moving the mod wheel and click on stop to end recording. Now the automation is fixed. Automating effects parameters, whether the effect is part of a virtual instrument or audio track, works almost identically to automating virtual instrument parameters. Open the effects edit window and click on its MIDI controller button. Use MIDI Learn to assign the parameter or parameters you want to control. Close the MIDI controller window and begin recording your automation moves. And of course, on playback, the effect parameter will follow your automation. <laughs> 